So today is rear brake loosening day because they're kind of uh, binding and grabbing. Not grabbing, but yeah, they're always on because uh, either cylinder too slow coming off or um, yeah, I've just got to um, adjust the, you know, that thing we were adjusting the other day. And there's only one on each of the wheels. But yeah, both of them when jacked up yesterday are hard to turn. So today's problem, issue, whatever, um, basically it feels quite draggy. And this goes back to like my motorbike days when I know like if I'd put, if I'd over tighten the, uh, the drum on the back, then you have that drag when you're driving. And it's just, you know, there's more power, but it's just not there. So that's what it's doing right now. So, and that's since really, I kind of adjusted the handbrake. So I'm going to go unadjust it, look at the shoes, see where they're at, see if anything needs cleaning off. Um, slacken off on the adjusters to just see if I can get the shoes away from the drum. Um, if that isn't successful, I mean, the drum's coming off anyway, because the new shoes are here to be fitted very soon. Hopefully in the next couple of days, uh, should be delivered today actually. And uh, so yeah, then I could do a proper job of it. But I'd like to take it out today because I've got a bit of time on my hands. And it's a busy old week, so why not? Let's I'm crack sure off. you remember the crack, but you want the wheels on the floor when you crack off the nuts initially. I mean, this is rear wheel drive, so you could just stick it in gear. I know the handbrake's too cracked for this, but it's good practice to make sure you get this out of the way before you get the car in the air, essentially. So pay attention. Only nip them off as well. You don't need to take them all the way off. Weirdly, the paint work on this. Ugh. When he painted the wheels themselves, he also just painted the nuts whilst it was on the car by the looks of it. So that's different. And yes, the ratchet has gone on my socket, and that's why you can't hear the cool sounds of Fixy Fixy Daddy Car. Time to jack it off, we'll just keep the video rolling. Time to jack it off, he says. Good lord, boy. A general rule that the middle of the, the actual drive there is good. The middle of the axle, that round thing, is good enough to take the weight of the whole car. But obviously we'll throw some axle stands on as well. Um, but yeah, we'll get it all up. Get back on your stand, you. So you can see the problem here uh, when I say the brakes are a bit grabby and you know always on. Um, hand brakes off, it's out of gear. So these wheels on the back should be turning freely now. There's nothing stopping them. And also a reminder to chuck the front of your car when you're doing this because I don't think the handbrake goes to the front and it's rear wheel drive. So it's just gonna potentially roll, you know, so be safe. But here you go. That doesn't wanna spin. And it's not doing anything. This one, we got a bit. So it's not free, free rolling at all. So that's today what we're going to do. Obviously, we'll check the state of the shoes. Here as well. We are going to need a new drum. You can see a bit's chipped away there. It's starting to go. Um, it's fully seized, annoyingly. Um, so I'm not sure if there's brake pressure left in or what, but um, I'm going to have to try and rag it off as much as I can't spin this around really <laughs> to uh, get the hole to the adjuster so see if we can pull it off screws are out let's go no right so essentially because it's so so tight to turn the drum I just stick the wheel back on I've not put any bolts on but that gives it enough purchase just to spin it just enough and check where the hole is 
I think we're getting there. I think it's on the right hand. Right, we in. Okay. A proper view of this. This is tight. There we go. So that should. There we go. So we have movement. We can definitely get the drum off. So let's see what the damage is. Are you ready? It's gonna need the hammer, mate. Right, lots of brake shoe dust. Lots and lots, we want to get rid of that in a minute. It's dangerous. That doesn't look like it's actually on the beehive spring. Doesn't look like it's been put in properly, but maybe it has. I don't think so. I don't think so. We'll find out later. There's another one down there. Alright, so we're stopping on the other side of the car now, and this one's a little bit more free moving, but not great. The coffee and smoke break, but we're making progress. Everything's drying out now and has been sprayed and cleaned. So, there you go. So, then we're going to slacken off the handbrake. So, you're aware, um, with editing the brakes, adjusting. And I see if I can pop you there, you might be able to see. But basically, it's nice and straightforward. This cable goes to the wheels themselves, well as the brake mechanism. Uh, here's your handbrake there. You can see the cables move with the handle. And you want them to be the same. Now, I should start this again because I'm not sure if they were even, but I'm just gonna go for a, a, a kind of similar tensity and go from there for now. But uh, it's feeling good, I've already done it. I did watch a guy on YouTube who recommended four clicks. Said it was fully on. Four, there we go. And then, yeah, these are tight, so I guess that's that. There we go, a bit of flashy. You can see what we're going for. There's the adjuster, just there. So clockwise to tighten. There's a see, one click over to the right. Bit of grabbage. I'm gonna back it off one. Hopefully that's our friend. <laughs> well, I'll throw the drum back on the other side and do that. And the same again on this side. Let's screw the bottom too. Yep, you can see it. There it is. Oh my God, flathead. Need to buy more tools. Wheels are back on, we'll tighten them up when the car is on the ground. Wheels are spinning much freelier, freelier than before, so I'm happy with that. It's time to whack the axle stands out, clear the area and drop the drone down. So uh, here we go. You join me back in the warm because I uh, came across what is the new problem for the week. So the brake shoes are still coming. They actually came on Friday and then I missed the delivery. Tried to pick them up on Saturday from the post office and the post office closes at 12 p.m. now. So I was, you know, I had a morning work and then went to collect them afterwards. Closed, closed on Sundays. I was in London this morning at like 7 a.m. 
So didn't have a chance to go this morning and then got back too late. And now tomorrow is getting re-delivered anyway. So we'll get the rear shoes tomorrow. Uh, we can fit those. I think I'm going to have to buy new cylinders because it would appear that the handbrake is completely useless. Like nothing happens. Like maybe it was acting a little bit unlike when the shoes were super tight or like, you know, over adjusted, as you can see when it wasn't moving around the drum. Maybe that was giving the handbrake a little bit uh, because it was basically on anyway. But um, yeah, now the, back, now the brakes are backed off. They work at the pedal, but uh, the handbrake's just nothing. And those cables are as tight as they can be. So over the shoes are too worn and it's just, uh, I don't know, you know, like I, I, I unadjusted them too much. Or um, yeah, new cylinders, I guess, because I think something else actuates the handbrake through the cylinder, like in a secondary lever motion, I'm not too sure. You have to get the car back up again to see what that's about, but I'll watch a few videos and read up on that. And um, yeah, so, that should be the last thing once the bloody brakes are on and the handbrake works. Um, Trunnions, finally. And then big trip. Big, big trip. And it's not too bad that it hasn't happened yet because um, the weather's tosh and the daylight runs out like half four anyway. So a few more weeks of tinkering and cleaning and niceties and maybe might have a look at sorting some carpet out for it because it's a little bit trashed. Um, and then, yeah try and attack like March maybe like oof, full on uh, February a few trips out um I have soon got new news about the local classic car meets or general car meets coming up kind of spring summer uh in the Erdington area uh Birmingham just down the road from Spaghetti Junction you've seen the videos I hope go back in the channel have a little uh, catch up on the area and then come down and I'll tell you when not today I won't tell you but I will tell you um, and then, yeah, we want to bring everyone's cars down and just see what colourful characters there actually are in the Midlands because they've all gone into hiding. Um, especially, I don't know, maybe... No, I came out of hiding. I was in basically in hiding before furlough and COVID and shit. But um, now I am back in the world. But where are the extravagants? Where are they? So, uh, uh, it's too much to say. I can't say too much right now. But... Uh, yeah, I do believe we'll have a really cool thing for us Birmingham people to do very soon. So that's cool. Uh, that's my catch up. Thanks for watching. Thank you also very much for, um, yeah, everything seems to be picking up on the channel a little bit, which is nice. Uh, we hit 300 subbies, so that's cool. Thank you everyone who has subscribed, liked, shared, done anything like that. Uh, massively appreciate it. It's doing the job and I'm very, very grateful. And uh, yeah, just posting these is bringing people in and uh, all the comments are very helpful. It's been great to catch up with y'all. So yeah, man, thanks for joining. I have changed the channel name because Squat as Wrong was a little bit uh, of my guerrilla tactics, kind of uh, what was going on during the pandemic kind of title. So now we have classics, we have campers and canines. History is still there and so are kayaks, but that doesn't start with a C either. So We'll go for that. If you hate it, let me know. If you think it's better, cool. If you want to make me a logo, hook me up, brother. Um, yeah, but thanks for joining. This is Classics, Campus and Canines. And you've been wonderful. Ta-ra.